Metalogic is the study of the meta-theory of logic, whereas logic studies how logical systems can be used to construct valid and sound arguments. Metalogic studies the properties of logical systems. Logic concerns the truths that may be derived using a logical system. Metalogic concerns the truths that may be derived about the languages and systems that are used to express truths. The basic objects of metalogical study are formal languages, formal systems, and their interpretations. The study of interpretation of formal systems is the branch of mathematical logic that is known as model theory, and the study of deductive systems is the branch that is known as proof theory. Overview Formal language A formal language is an organized set of symbols, the symbols of which precisely define it by shape and place. Such a language therefore can be defined without reference to the meanings of its expressions, it can exist before any interpretation is assigned to it, that is, before it has any meaning. First order logic is expressed in some formal language. A formal grammar determines which symbols and sets of symbols are formulas in a formal language. A formal language can be formally defined as a set A of strings on a fixed alphabet alpha. Some authors, including Carnap, define the language as the ordered pair less than alpha, a greater than. Carnap also requires that each element of alpha must occur in at least one string in A. Formation rules Formation rules are a precise description of the well-formed formulas of a formal language. They are synonymous with the set of strings over the alphabet of the formal language that constitute well-formed formulas. However, it does not describe their semantics. Formal systems A formal system consists of a formal language together with a deductive apparatus. The deductive apparatus may consist of a set of transformation rules or a set of axioms, or have both. A formal system is used to derive one expression from one or more other expressions. A formal system can be formally defined as an ordered triple less than alpha, d greater than, where d is the relation of direct derivability. This relation is understood in a comprehensive sense such that the primitive sentences of the formal system are taken as directly derivable from the empty set of sentences. Direct derivability is a relation between a sentence and a finite, possibly empty set of sentences. Axioms are so chosen that every first place member of D is a member of and every second place member is a finite subset of. A formal system can also be defined with only the relation D, thereby can be omitted an alpha in the definitions of interpreted formal language and interpreted formal system. However, this method can be more difficult to understand and use. Formal proof A formal proof is a sequence of well-formed formulas of a formal language, the last of which is a theorem of a formal system. The theorem is a syntactic consequence of all the well-formed formulae that in the proof precede it. For a well-formed formula to qualify as part of a proof, it must result from applying a rule of the deductive apparatus of some formal system to the previous well-formed formulae in the proof sequence. Interpretations An interpretation of a formal system is the assignment of meanings to the symbols and truth values to the sentences of the formal system. The study of interpretations is called formal semantics. Giving an interpretation is synonymous with constructing a model. Important distinctions in metalogic Metalanguage Object language in metalogic Formal languages are sometimes called object languages. The language used to make statements about an object language is called a metalanguage. This distinction is a key difference between logic and metalogic. While logic deals with proofs in a formal system, expressed in some formal language, metalogic deals with proofs about a formal system which are expressed in a metalanguage about some object language. Syntax semantics in metalogic syntax has to do with formal languages or formal systems without regard to any interpretation of them, whereas semantics has to do with interpretations of formal languages. The term syntactic has a slightly wider scope than proof theoretic. 
since it may be applied to properties of formal languages without any deductive systems, as well as to formal systems. Semantic is synonymous with model theoretic. Use mention in metalogic, the words use and mention in both their noun and verb forms. Take on a technical sense in order to identify an important distinction. The use mention distinction is the distinction between using a word and mentioning it. Usually it is indicated that an expression is being mentioned rather than used by enclosing it in quotation marks, printing it in italics, or setting the expression by itself on a line. The enclosing in quotes of an expression gives us the name of an expression, for example, metalogic is the name of this article. This article is about metalogic. Type token The type token distinction is a distinction in metalogic that separates an abstract concept from the objects which are particular instances of the concept. For example, the particular bicycle in your garage is a token of the type of thing known as the bicycle, whereas the bicycle in your garage is in a particular place at a particular time. That is not true of the bicycle, as used in the sentence. The bicycle has become more popular recently. This distinction is used to clarify the meaning of symbols of formal languages. History Metalogical questions have been asked since the time of Aristotle. However, it was only with the rise of formal languages in the late 19th and early 20th century that investigations into the foundations of logic began to flourish. In 1904, David Hilbert observed that in investigating the foundations of mathematics that logical notions are presupposed, and therefore a simultaneous account of metalogical and metamathematical principles was required. Today, metalogic and metamathematics are largely synonymous with each other, and both have been substantially subsumed by mathematical logic in academia. A possible alternate, less mathematical model may be found in Charles Sanders Peirce and other semioticians. Although semiotics may be interpreted as linguistic, another interpretation is that it concerns universal symbols, a la the psychologist Carl Jung. Results in metalogic. Results in metalogic consist of such things as formal proofs demonstrating the consistency, completeness, and decidability of particular formal systems. Major results in metalogic include Proof of the uncountability of the power set of the natural numbers. Lowenheim Skolem theorem. Proof of the consistency of truth functional propositional logic. Proof of the semantic completeness of truth functional propositional logic. Proof of the syntactic completeness of truth functional propositional logic. Proof of the decidability of truth functional propositional logic. Proof of the consistency of first-order monadic predicate logic. Proof of the semantic completeness of first-order monadic predicate logic. Proof of the decidability of first-order monadic predicate logic. Proof of the consistency of first-order predicate logic. Proof of the semantic completeness of first-order predicate logic. Proof of the undecidability of first-order predicate logic. Godel's First Incompleteness Theorem 1931 Godel's Second Incompleteness Theorem 1931 Tarshi's Undefinability Theorem